This is the bottom, okay? And the bottom actually gives the small monogram print. That's different. But as y'all can see, these are two different colors. Only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make it. Good morning. How y'all doing? It's bright early. And girl, it's time for this kefir smoothie. So y'all, I got all of my stuff right here. And I just wanted to come on here early this morning before I put anything on my stomach. And I want to try this kefir smoothie. Now, if y'all did not catch my other vlog, I was talking about this and I was looking for this kefir. And I also was letting y'all know what this smoothie is good for, which is good for the liver, okay? So, I found this at Trader Joe's and this is the plain kefir, y'all. And they do have this in strawberry and I believe blueberry. So, y'all can pick this up at Trader Joe's. Y'all can pick it up at... Um, I don't know if Kroger sells it because I checked Kroger and I don't know if Walmart sells this. So y'all can pick this up at Trader Joe's or all of these don't sell it either because I went up in there looking for this. I was trying to see what other store sold this. The Fresh Market, they may sell this. Publix may sell this, but we don't have a Publix here in Memphis. So, wherever y'all can find this at, y'all can pick it up at y'all local store or whatever. But thank God I found it. Now, what I'm going to put in my smoothie, y'all, I already put a banana in here because I said I was going to throw a banana in here so it can be a little bit, just a little tap sweet. Not too much. But I'm really not supposed to put a banana in here. I'm just supposed to use the kefir milk, the blueberries and the frozen kale which i had a hard time trying to look for some frozen kale so i picked up this that had frozen kale in it even though it has the blueberries and the cherries in here i just got it for the sake of the kale y'all okay these are my blueberries that my granny gave me and i just froze them so i'm gonna wash these off and i'm gonna add my blueberries and i'm gonna add a little bit of this here and some of the kefir Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash some of these off and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this cup right here. I'm gonna grab a handful of them. Wash them off. Throw them in there. I'll put a couple more in here. I hope y'all can see me too. Because my camera may be a little bit too high. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this here. And y'all, this is what this looks like. I don't know if y'all can see that, but y'all see those little green chunks? That's supposed to be the frozen kale. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of this in here. And um, mind y'all, I'm not supposed to have the strawberries or the cherries or nothing like that in here. But like I said, y'all, due to everything in here being mixed up, everything going to come out the bag when I pour it in the cup. So I'm really... Just aiming for this here, which is the kale. This is what it looks like. Okay. But since all of this stuff is mixed up, I might as well just pull all of it in. Okay, so this is what we have. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this kefir in here. And y'all, I am lactose intolerant, so I really don't want to put too much. And I hope this stuff don't be um, like bothering my stomach. <laughs> and this is like some thick milk too, y'all. Because just by me pouring it in there, it's pouring down really thick. Now, I am going to blend it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add my, um, I do add my collagen in every smoothie that I drink. So, I am going to add a scoop of my collagen in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. I believe I'm going to, yeah, I think I need some more milk up in here, child, because this is like very thick, very, very thick. And I don't want to put too much because every time I put too much liquid in here and it gets a blending, it be too liquidy. And it don't be like a smoothie, like a thick, like uh, texture. 
and I don't like that. So if I find that I don't have enough milk in here, I'll just add some more. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up real quick, y'all, okay? Y'all, listen, the way that this thing works, it'll, it'll, um, it'll spin. Well, you know, it'll chop up the fruit and stuff like that. Then it'll stop and then it'll blend. Then it'll stop. But once all of my milk and fruit and stuff like that drop down to the bottom where the chopper is, that's when it's going to begin to spin or whatever. But it takes a little minute because I don't have a lot of milk in here. Okay. Okay, y'all. So now I'm going to stop it because I realized that I don't have enough kefir in here. So I'm going to add just a little more because it's very thick. And like I said, this is like a real thick milk. Very thick milk. So I'm going to blend. Hold on, y'all. Let me go ahead and add my collagen chaff. Because normally I'll try to let it blend first and then I'll add my collagen. So that all of it can get blended up and mixed all together. Okay. We're going to put the top back on and we're going to get the blending. on its own little timer so once it stops then I take it off and shake it a little bit and I'm gonna try it because everything may not be blended up in here good so once I taste it and if I'm tasting like the fruit and stuff like that then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up some more now see y'all y'all see this now I believe I added too much milk in there because it's kind of it's kind of liquidy to me. It's not real thick. But we finna go ahead and try it. And see what this is tasting like. Alright y'all, the moment of truth, child. Mmm. It tastes real sour to me. Mm, and that was the whole purpose of me adding that one banana to give it a little sweetness. But it tastes kind of sour, y'all. Mmm. I can't say this, though. Even though this is good for the body, it don't taste all that. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It don't taste all that. So buying the plain kefir, it just tastes like a a real thick like unsweetened yogurt that's what it tastes like y'all because this tastes very sour it does and i don't too much care for it but i'll finish it up and drink it or whatever it's okay next time i may have to grab the flavor kind and maybe that will be a little bit better but mm -mm. This ain't all that, child. <laughs> mm -mm. It's not all that. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and let y'all see me um, make the smoothie and try it and give y'all my reaction and opinion off, off of it. And it's okay. It's okay. It ain't all that. But will I buy the plain kefir again? No, I will not. <laughs> 
no i will not buy that again now to add something in here to sweeten it up i can put another banana in here i don't add honey or sugar and all that type of stuff to my smoothies y'all so just to sweeten this up just a little bit i may have to add two bananas instead of one yeah but anyway i do have a quick review that i am going to throw into this vlog so y'all just keep on watching and um yeah y'all stay tuned Whew. all right y'all let's jump right into this video so your girl that got cute and i ain't even gonna well i ain't gonna go nowhere and guess what y'all we finally got some rain child we finally got some rain praise the lord even though it's still hot but thank god for the rain child i ain't even finna go nowhere child. i ain't finna go nowhere i just got up did my little smoothie or whatever want me some clothes got cute i ain't even go nowhere <laughs> now by the time y'all get this video we may have some sun, it may be hot outside, but right now, we are experiencing some rain right now. Thank the Lord once again. But anyway, child, let's jump right into this video. This video is in collaboration with AntMall.ru. So they were so kind, y'all, to send me out two bags this time instead of one. I have worked with this company before, so I already know she has some really cute, nice, like, cute designer bags on the site y'all and uh i never was disappointed when i got bags from her i think i got my red louboutin tote which is this bag here this is the bag that came from her website i think it was last year yes and i believe i got another bag as well from her but thank god she sent me out two bags this time that was so sweet you. Well, the first bag we're going to look at, y'all, I did get a Louboutin, and both of these bags came in one big box, and I just went ahead on and unboxed everything, y'all. Okay, so this is the dust bag here, and I just got a plain black LV Never Fall Tote. I actually wanted one of these because I do not own a black Louboutin Never Fall. I just own the, um, which ones do I own? I own these right here, y'all. These are the ones that I own. And I do have the, um, the cream one. Ooh, hold on, chat. I do have the cream one as well, like that. Okay, but this one here, I also want it. And let me go ahead and take this off. So y'all can get a good look. And this is actually one of their newest models, I believe she told me. Because they got two of these on the site, y'all. It's the same bag, but they're like different some kind of way. But I'm going to try to show y'all and try to give y'all like the difference between the two. But let me go ahead and finish taking all of this stuff here off y'all and I'm going to be right back. Alright y'all, okay. so this is what she looks like. And I did go ahead and take all of the plastic and stuff like that off of her. Now this is the inside y'all. Now I believe, hold up. I'm going to go ahead and take this off as well y'all. But this is the inside and I believe this is what the difference is between the two bags that I did see on the site. Now this one here has like a navy blue suede like material y'all. That is real pretty. It does have one pocket over here. Let's see, try to open this up. And that's what that looks like. It just has a Louis Vuitton card in there. Okay, but this bag is pretty spacious, y'all, and I love it. I mean, it's not, you know, giving a whole lot. Pretty basic, but I do love the LV uh, monogram stamped on the bag. And this one here, you can actually see that monogram print, y'all. Like, it's stamped really deep on this bag. This is the bottom, okay? And the bottom actually gives the small monogram print. That's different. Okay, it does not have any feet or nothing like that, but that's okay. Um, this one does come with the gold hardware as well. And let's see. Okay, yeah, it does have the gold hardware in the inside as well. And you can also buckle this bag up right here. It just got one little 
one little uh buckle clip right there in the middle to where you can attach it okay now y'all let's go ahead and take the plastic off of this so y'all can see the little the little pouch that it comes with this actually looks like a little clutch wallet <laughs> so of course y'all y'all can put y'all credit cards in here um Y'all can also treat this like a makeup bag if y'all want to. You know, you know, throw your uh, lip glosses, uh, eyeliner, whatever you want to put up in here. And it does come with. See y'all, I ain't even see all this girl. <laughs> I would have took all of this off already, but it does come with this little strap. So you can, you know, like I said, you can treat this as a little mini, like date night little tote, you know, bag or whatever. Or, like I said, you can treat it as your credit card, uh, little bag pouch. You can put money, change, or whatever up in there. Or, like I said, you can do whatever you want to do with it, child. Makeup, however you want to do it. But, me personally, I'm probably going to end up throwing like my lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff like that in there. And then sometimes I may switch it up. And then throw like some credit cards or whatever, some change, whatever I want to throw up in here. But this here, y'all, goes right here. I was trying <laughs> to have all this stuff took off of y'all so I won't be wasting a lot of time. But I ain't even see all this here. But let me go ahead and add this to the side. Okay. Oh, so y'all know what? Girl, I don't know why I thought this was going to attach over here, but you really have to, let's see how this works. I think you have to, yeah, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to fold this up, girl. I'm going to have to fold this up, tie it up some type of way, or actually put it up in this little loop, and then clamp it on here. Uh-oh, that's what I'm going to have to do. So, yeah, listen, y'all. Let me go on here and try to get this together, girl. I hope I got it on here right. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Because your girl all over the place. <laughs> I'm just all over the place on this video. Okay, so. I don't know if I just did this right. I probably didn't. But y'all get the point, though. It's supposed to be like this. This supposed to be attached probably somewhere else. I probably got it on here wrong. But it's like a little... You can hold it like a little pouch or whatever like this, okay? But, you know, this is just for the review purposes only. But I am going to put this on here right, okay? But however, y'all, this bag on the side, let's just jump right into these prices real quick for this one. This one is $108, y'all, on the site, which is not bad at all. Plus, the quality is really nice. This is a... It's a nice size weight on this bag. It's not real heavy or nothing, but this actually feels like real genuine leather, like the bag does, y'all. I mean, this is nice. This is real nice. I actually love the quality on this one, and I will be toting this baby soon. Yes, indeed. Moving forward, my other bag that I received, y'all, this is just a little receipt, is a Christian Dior bag. Okay, and I decided to get the tote. This is the uh, dust bag here. And I already have this bag, y'all, in the medium, I believe. And I got it in the color black. But I wanted this one here, and this is the burgundy one. Excuse the bentness, y'all, because the way that my bags came... They came in a box, but the box was very bent up. Very bent. Okay, so just excuse the uh, the dent and stuff like that in the bag. Okay, I'm going to try to put this paper up here soon so y'all can actually see it without it being bent all up. Okay, so there we go. So this is the Lady Dior in the large. I mean, my black one I have is in a medium, y'all. So, this has to be the large. This is the biggest size I believe they got. And y'all already know why I picked this up. Now, 
Listen, babes. <laughs> I was going to get the same exact print of my Christian Dior slides. Let me let me pull out the slides real quick, girl. Let me pull out the slides. Now y'all remember these here that I shared with y'all. Okay, so y'all remember these. This is the reason why I grabbed this bag. But as y'all can see, these are two different colors, which <sighs> it just frustrates me right now, child. But it's okay, it's okay. But this is the reason why I picked up this tote, y'all, to go with these slides. But since this don't really match, I won't be wearing this together. I'll definitely have to get the same exact like print of the slide. Um, well, the same print as the slide, like the tote. I hope I make sense. Because <laughs> y'all know I be talking crazy sometimes, child. But anyway, I will be getting the, well, I'm just going to put a picture somewhere showing y'all the um the christian dior shopping tote i think it's called the shopping tote or is it called something else let me see y'all no it's called the christian dior book tote y'all see this picture so i was going to get that particular bag now that one goes directly with these slides right here that's what i was going to get but i was just like no nah. I don't want to be doing too much this time. I want to be like, just get a solid color bag to go with my shoes. So that's the reason why I grabbed this one. This is the Lady Dior Lard. Did I already tell y'all that? <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason why I picked this one up. But listen, y'all, I believe I can get away with wearing this and those shoes. Because me being inside the house, Versus me being outside, it may not look too bad. I mean, I don't know. I have to have my husband judge that. But I don't think it's going to look too bad. I'll have to look and see myself when I put like a whole outfit together to see if it's going to go. But however, girl, y'all can tell me right now if this going to look right. I mean, the shoe and the bag is not going to be directly side by side each other no way i'm gonna have these on my feet and i'm gonna be toting this in my hand so it's not gonna be like you know people gonna be looking like oh that don't go together why she got that together no <laughs> but anyway chad to me personally i do think the bag is a little bit brighter than the shoe so i don't know if i'm gonna rock it like that child just don't know but let's just jump right into the bag though let me go ahead and take this off. Actually, I'll be back again, child. Let me go ahead and take all this stuff right here off, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. Okay. Bam. So I did go ahead and take the paper out of here, y'all. So y'all probably still see that little dent right there. But just don't look at it, girl. Don't look at the little dent, okay? <laughs> but we're going to jump right into it. And let me show y'all the inside of this one. So this one is like red in the inside, y'all. Y'all see that? We have the... Dior card here and this one also has a pocket on the side right here okay that's what the inside looks like and the material in this one y'all is not a cloth material it's like some sort of plasticky like material but it's not I don't even know what y'all call that but it's not it don't feel like cotton though but I do like the size of this one. This one is way, way, way bigger than my little black one, y'all. I actually can put more stuff up in here. Now, this one, of course, does has the gold hardware, which I always say all of the bags that I have, majority of them, they do have the gold hardware, y'all. Now, this one here, I do like the gold because the bag is burgundy and I think gold and burgundy that goes perfectly together y'all now this here this is real cute this is real cute right here the little Dior like keychain symbols and it spells the word Dior out y'all I can't even get it together child but it spells the word Dior out and I think that is really cute on this bag I love the bubble like print and I don't know what this is called, y'all, but it's like a like a bubble print or something like that. The way that it's made, y'all see these little bubbles or whatever. This is really, really cute. And the um 
the material on this is like a it's like a cow skin leather y'all a cow skin leather very delicate and soft you got to be real careful with this one because it will scratch easily okay and i do love the fact that you can just tote it as a tote real cute now when i did open this up y'all it did come with a strap okay now y'all already know when you get in a bag like this what are you gonna do with the strap what are you gonna do i mean some people may tote it as a crossbody but I don't think I'll be toting it as a crossbody. Hold on, well, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this chair. And see, this is my thing, y'all. This is my thing right here. When you get in a, a, a strap like this, on bags like this, and they don't have like the, um, okay, so say for instance, you got a long strap and they don't have like the two little clips right here in the inside of the bag so where you can clip the the straps on or maybe in the inside no it can't be in the inside of the bag child <laughs> it either has to be here or out here on each side so when you got a bag like this and you're actually attaching the strap to the other strap to me it just don't look right i mean it just does not look right and of course this here you're gonna have to uh, uh, attach the strap just like this because there's no other way for you to to um attach it or if you attach both of the straps on one handle y'all already know the bag is gonna be like unbalanced and it's just gonna be leaning on one side like this so this is the way that I had to do it. Y'all see that? And I just, I just, I can't get with that. So y'all already know I'm not going to be rocking the strap, but I am going to show y'all what it would look like if you ladies wanted to wear it as a crossbody. Okay. So I'm trying to make it to where it's not dent, dented up in the front, but hold on child. Let me try to stick this paper back up in here. Maybe it wouldn't be dented up so bad. Okay, and I just want to show y'all the inside real quick. So this is what it would look like, y'all, as a crossbody. Well, it's still kind of dented up in the front. Let's see. Let me see if I got something else. Hold on real quick, y'all. Let me grab this. I'm just gonna grab something real quick just to stick in here to make the bag like full so y'all won't be able to see that y'all can still see it just a little bit let me grab one more thing let me stuff this up in here okay y'all all right scooch y'all back some so y'all can see Okay, so can y'all see this bag? This is how it will look, basically, as a crossbody. And I feel like this look just does not look right. It just don't look right, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all this way. This is just if you want to hold it, like, for one strap. <laughs> one strap on the shoulder. This is what it will look like which i'm not feeling that look either so i'll definitely let me go ahead and take this strap off because i ain't gonna mm -mm, nope i'm not even gonna worry about this strap <laughs> i'm gonna literally tote this bag just like this as a tote because i think this is the proper way to tote a bag in this style y'all i'm just saying it just looks way more cuter like this so yeah, this will be actually my way of toting this bag, okay? And I am gonna carry this as a date night bag. Now I may carry it just, you know, dressed in casual and down and stuff like that with my cute little sandals on or even if I don't wear my sandals, I can dress this bag down or up. It really don't matter, okay? But however, I do love this one. This one is really cute. This is the bottom. It does come with feet. Okay. And I love it. Now, the price for this one. This one is $125 
on the site, y'all. That's not bad. Because your girl didn't do no research on either one of these bags. Like the retail price. I was just like, I ain't going to do no, no searching today, child. <laughs> I ain't even do no searching. But I'm pretty sure this bag is running like in the maybe 2000 range. Because this is the large. I'm not for sure. And then the black Louis Vuitton here. This one may be running maybe in the thousand range. I'm not for sure, y'all. But however, the prices are not bad for neither one of these bags, not on her site. So I'm definitely feeling the prices and yes, girl, I will pay both of those prices for both of these bags on her site. Very, very affordable. Now my camera won't start getting blurry on y'all. Okay, child. Let me go ahead and show y'all this bag too because I don't think I showed y'all this one on. But this is what this one looks like. Okay. So y'all already know we can only carry this one one way. <laughs> Just one way and it does not come with an extra strap or anything. I don't think. No, it does not. But however... Y'all let me know what y'all are thinking about these two bags here. I do love both of them, okay? And uh, your girl will be told me. Yes, I will. But um, if I got any coupon codes or anything, I will jot them down below in my description box. And y'all just make sure y'all check out antmall.ru. She does have some really nice bags on her site, y'all. Very affordable. And now the bag that I saw like this first was nothing but 80 bucks. That's it. This one here is $108, y'all. So I think her never fall bags on the site, very, very affordable, very affordable. And now for this bag to be $80 on her site, that's not bad because girl, look at the quality. Look what you getting, okay? Now, on the rest of these sites, y'all, and trying to get a bag like this, you probably going to end up paying $300 and some. I'm just saying. So, getting it for $80, that's a deal, babes. That's a deal and a steal. <laughs> I'm just saying, girl. But, however, y'all let me know what y'all are thinking about these two bags. Um, Your girl finna get out of here. I ain't finna do nothing today. I'm just finna chill out, relax, watch a couple of y'all videos. And um, that's it. <laughs> that's it, girl. So, yes, y'all be blessed. Stay pray up. Stay out this heat. And Candy Pool will be back with some more videos for y'all. All right. Love y'all. Later, babe.